What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra Here. And I have a mic, you guys. For the time being, I'm going to be using my headphones as I get my main mic fixed, but I'll put some parcel on my teeth. But in the meantime, between time, I'm going to be using my headphones mic because I feel like this is better than no mic. People have been saying, like, get a mic. So hopefully this is better for you guys. Let me know down in the comments. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about summer essentials. And this is actually a part two. Um, I'll link part one down in the description box. However, I will say you don't have to watch them in any particular order. I'm literally just going through pieces that I've been wearing for years and that I find to be very functional and practical for summer. And yeah, with that being said, I definitely wanted to bring value with this video. I don't feel like I'm all, I'm a little hard on myself and I feel like part one, I didn't really say or expound on each piece as much as I should have. So I definitely did that in this video. Um, I hope you guys do find it informative and inspiring. If you do, let me know down in the comments. With that being said, let's hop right into it. I don't have really much else to say to you guys. First summer essential I'm going to cover today is cotton graphic tees. Any type of graphic will bring in color which creates endless possibilities for styling. I would also suggest one with a dropped shoulder seam. It appears a little bit more elevated than a regular Hanes tee, but nothing wrong with a Hanes tee, especially a vintage one. Also a dropped shoulder just flows a little bit better on the body. I find that it looks good on just about anyone. This one I literally just picked up yesterday from the artist Brent Moore. He sells his tees in Soho right by the camper store as well as online. I'll have his Instagram link down below. Brent actually takes the photos that are on some of his graphic tees. The one I'm wearing for instance, he took the photo on the front of it. He also is able to speak to all of the pieces, the concepts, how versatile each of his pieces are. Um, he also sells these hats that are reversible. Brent seems to be very intentional with the things he makes, which anyone can appreciate. A simple way to style a graphic tee is with shorts. Leave the tee untucked so you can see the movement of the cotton. It appears more effortless. Grab your favorite lightweight bag and you are ready for a day of running around or outdoor activities that you may do in the summer. I also recently picked up this graphic tee by the brand Holiday. I love the saying on the front and back of it. I think it's like super cheeky. Uh, kind of like I'm too cool for school no I'm just kidding but um side note Dover is actually having a sale on each floor at Dover Street I think it's like five floors and each floor has a sale um, this tea for instance was $22 holiday is a brand by this guy Nick holiday who is actually known for being Rockhampton stylist and making really cool quirky teas also, what I gather from his interview, Nick seems to be a creative to do or create what he feels, and I love that. To dress up a graphic tee and still appear chic and simple is with a pair of baggy jeans and a little strappy heel. This is the perfect look for dinner. Graphic tee is fun, but pairing it with heels and jeans, it reads as more mature or elevated. Personally, I am a fiend for a good graphic tee, as you guys can see, and I will sometimes splurge, but you can definitely find really cool ones at your local thrift store. One of my favorite graphics is this long sleeve cotton tee with a throwback photo of Jay-Z on the front that I actually thrifted in New Orleans for a couple dollars. Next up, we have a linen t-shirt that is absolutely essential for summer. If you have never heard me talk about linen, then you must be new here. Welcome, my name is Sierra. And linen is literally one of my favorite fabrics of the earth. Um, it is actually derived from the flax plant and it is hyperallergenic in case you didn't know that. It is a very durable fabric and in my opinion, it still looks cool wrinkled. When purchasing a linen tee, I would keep in mind that linen t-shirts tend to relax and fit when on the body slash exposed to moisture from like outside. So sizing down isn't a bad idea. A linen tee is everything paired with a pair of jeans and a little flat for a daytime look or tuck it into a pair of linen shorts for a more put together look. I will link the one I'm wearing down below. The next summer essential is for my people that run cold, and it is a linen or cotton knit. Every time I wear knit in the summertime, I get at least one person asking, aren't you hot in that sweater? And my response is always, no, it's cotton. Cotton and linen knits are perfect for the cooler summer days or for when it's hot during the day and it drops at night. You can drape it over your shoulders when it's hot with a linen t-shirt, and then at night you pop it on. 
Also, do not forget to leave the peak of t-shirt showing at the neck and bottom. These small details are what ultimately make the look. Knits always bring in the best texture, especially when paired with other natural fabrics like linen on the bottom. If you just can't bear wearing any type of knit in summer but still like layers, I would definitely suggest a lightweight button up. The one I am wearing is black by Calm Des Garcons and it is made up of Japanese polyester. And I know some of y'all are like, polyester? But not all polyesters are the same and Japanese polyester tends to look and feel like silk on the body. When styling a lightweight button up, I would say you can wear it as like a layering piece over top of a tank top, looks really cool, breezing through the wind. Or you can pair it on its own with a cute little short or linen trouser and a strappy heel for dinner. Next up we have cargo pants. And in my opinion, cargos are essential for all seasons. Finding a pair with multiple pockets may allow you to be hands-free for the day, depending on what you like to carry. The ones I am wearing I actually purchased at a Dover Street Market sample sale a couple weeks ago. And they are from the brand Gosha Ruchinski, which I know a lot of fashion lovers like myself have, st have stopped wearing the brand due to speculations about the designer. But I honestly did not know that they were Gosha. I was just like, oh yeah, people stop carrying Gosha. Like these are probably some new brand. No, they're Gosha. And I actually remember talking to these people that worked at Alexander Wang, which is also a designer that um, went through a negative past. And the people from his scene was telling me that it's good to keep in mind that you are supporting shoe designers and bag designers and ready to wear designers um, when you are purchasing from these brands that have negative pan past, which are most brands by the way. But I'm lucky that these don't have any visible labels or like symbols. And I would say when styling cargo pants, it's best to keep it simple as they tend to have a lot of pockets and drawstrings. Honestly, they are a statement on their own. So just pairing them with a crew neck t-shirt or a basic tank top will appear simple but effective always. Next summer essential will be lightweight bags. And I get asked every now and again about the only bag I carry which is my MM6 mesh tote. I have talked about these bags before and I will link the video in the description box. This bag is definitely worth it and a really good deal when it is on sale. If you don't want bag problems, it is good to carry a bag that doesn't have a lot of hardware, therefore making it lighter to carry. My black tote I have had almost for like four years and I should probably replace it soon, um, but it's doing its job of carrying things so I am in no rush. This bag fits all of the essentials, a little book, a little lip gloss, okay? Whatever you may need. It can go on the shoulder and can be carried as a little paper bag style as well, which I think is so cute and I need to start doing. The brown one I got most recently and whatever the black doesn't go with, the brown one does. And then another lightweight bag I would probably recommend are Izumiyake, not probably, I would definitely recommend are Izumiyake pleats bags. They again tend to be super light in weight and carry all of the essentials. Even this little small one, I can still fit like a book in. They're perfect for when you um, like are running around. I have had my Izumiyake pleats crossbody for about three years now. And to clean it, I just take it to the dry cleaning, which I need to do very soon because it's looking a little dingy. Um, and also the hardware is starting to tarnish just a little bit, but I'm still obsessed with it and would recommend it if you are in need of a practical summer bag. Last but certainly not least, we have cotton two-piece sets because they require no thought when getting dressed. My first set I actually purchased from the South Korean brand, Big Union, which again, I'll link the video in the description box where I go into more details about this set. And I hope it's still available because I did purchase it like a couple years ago, but it has been servicing me for almost three summers now and I would definitely recommend it. The collar automatically makes it look a little bit more elevated and the cotton is really durable when it comes to this set. Another set you can check out are the Essential Sets by Jerry Lorenzo. He always has them available or like coming back. Also, I love that he creates them in neutral tones typically as it makes it even more easy to wear in style. And don't forget, like a set means that you can break it up so many different ways. Like the sweatshirt you can wear with jeans, the shorts you can wear with little tank tops. Um, All right, you guys. So that is actually the end of the video. Please, please, please let me know what you guys think, your thoughts rather on this video. If you found it helpful or informative, I would love to know. As I did do, you know, I really took my time with doing this video. This is the first time I did a script, which you may hear it in my voice that I'm like reading something, but I really liked doing a script. I find that it was easy for me to not forget things because I feel like that's why I'd be doing like part twos and part threes to videos. Cause I'm like, dang, I wish I would have mentioned this or mentioned that. So I, yeah, all of my thoughts were written down. So 
I hope you guys found that more helpful. But if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, heart, heart, hearts. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.